morning. It's Tuesday, 1st of November 2016. This is Sylvia Shivamurthy and you're listening to the newspaper reviews on www.r1eng.com. Let's now look at the paper highlights from today's newspapers. The top highlight in daily news says, Crash fraud goes to AG. The FCID conducting investigations against Hambantara District MP Nama Rajapaksha concerning a misappropriation of 70 million belonging to Krish Company yesterday informed code that they have sought the Attorney General's advice regarding possible future legal action on the matter. According to Nikolambu Fort Magistrate Lanka Jai Ratna, sent a reminder to the Attorney General directing him to expedite his advice regarding the case. The case will be taken up again on March 20th. Rajapaksha was arrested for allegedly misappropriating 70 million rupees granted by Indian real estate company Krish Lanka Private Limited for the development of rugby in Sri Lanka. Another highlight says, Raviraj murder trial to be heard on day-to-day -day basis. The Colombo High Court hearing of the Nataraja Raviraj murder case was yesterday fixed for trial on a day-to-day -day basis before a special jury by High Court Judge Manila Vijayatilaka. The case is to be heard on a day-to-day -day basis from November 22nd. The highlight in the middle says, Mihin Sri Lankan only an amalgamation, not a merger. The government is to amalgamate Mihin Lanka with Sri Lankan Airlines as a move to a strategic restructuring of Sri Lanka's national career. This is an amalgamation of the two airlines and not a merger, State Enterprise Development Deputy Minister Iran Vikramaratna said. The amalgamation of these two airlines is part of the strategy for restructuring of the alien state-owned enterprises, he said. Another highlight says, Two nabbed with Brazilian sports. The two youths especially travelling on a motorcycle with two sports in their possession were arrested by police in Jaffna on Sunday. And the highlight at the bottom says, Partly warns separate code to try offenders. Anyone who commits a crime should be punished irrespective of identity or status, Megapolis and Western Development Minister Patili Champika Ranavaka said. Minister Ranavaka also said the government did not have the sole right to question on the crimes committed by the former regime without first putting its own house in order. Let's now look at the paper highlights in Daily Mirror. The top highlight says, 1 billion US dollars for Sri Lanka. Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe said yesterday, Sri Lanka was in the process of entering into a debt equity swap with two Chinese companies to manage the loss-making Hambantota port and the Matala airport. Another highlight says, Joint opposition complaints to BC against PM and Mahindra. Lemon MPs led by MP Vasudeva Nanayakara yesterday complained to the Bribery Commission against Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe and Central Bank's ex governor Arjuna Mahindran on the Central Bank bond scam. The highlight in the middle says UN Committee on Torture to Review Situation in Sri Lanka. The United Nations Committee Against Torture will on November 15th and 16th review the current situation in Sri Lanka. And the highlight at the bottom says, Sajin seeks permission to travel abroad. Former MP Sajin Divas Gunavardhana yesterday sought Colombo Chief Magistrate permission to travel abroad. And now let's move to the paper highlights in Ceylon today. The top highlight says, Implementing COPE decisions. UNP totally bound, says Kabir, General Secretary of the United National Party and Minister of Public Enterprise Development Kabir Hashim said that the UNP is 100% bound to follow the orders issued by the Committee on Public Enterprises. The minister pointed this out while making a special statement at a media briefing held subsequent to participating in declaring open a four-story building at the St. Joseph Vidyalaya Kegol. Another highlight says, Seeing her jury for Raviraj case. The highlight in the middle says JV Peter Hall seminars on TV scam. The Janata Vimukti Paramuna said that it will be organizing a series of seminars to inform the public about what exactly happened in the controversial Treasury bond scam. Another highlight says Petitioner told to make written submissions. The Supreme Court yesterday directed Attorney at Law in Kodituwaku to file a written submission within one week stating whether a full bench was required to question the validity of a Supreme Court judgment in Parliament. And the highlight at the bottom says, Mata Kulia shooting deaths rise to five. Another victim dies in hospital. 
Another victim in the Samitripura Matakwale shooting succumbed to his injuries in hospital yesterday morning. According to the police, the victim who was in critical condition passed away around 5.45 a.m. at the Kalamu National Hospital. That's all for today's newspaper highlights and we'll get back to you with more news tomorrow. Thank you.